Now let's go ahead and create our cross section views. For cross section views, we'll go to cross section sections and create sample lines. Now it's asking select an alignment or press enter key to select from list. I will hit enter button and from the list I will select road 1. OK. And it says that create sample line. What is the name of this sample line? I will say it is sections rd1. And what will be shown on these sections? I say original ground will be shown road one will be shown and road one uh, surface will be shown how the surface will be original ground is existing ground this is our corridor and it is basic style and this is our surface finished surface it should be finished ground and we will change it hit ok okay and from here i'll say create sample line group and edit sample line group from here i'll say by range of stations let's go ahead and change let's see general in our alignment it says road one station range is from alignment start true yes it should start from station zero and end at this station left swath width will be i say it is uh, 30 meter and right swath width should be 35 meter or let's say it should be 30 meter as well sampling increment along curves tangents all should be 20 meter i'll say okay and you can see there are already uh, sample lines created I will simply hit enter and sample lines are created with the labels over the sample line you can edit these sample lines as you want you can extend or shrink the uh, sample lines in here I will change the sample lines so that it will cover all of the area Now let's go ahead and, and create section views. You can create a single section view or create multiple section views. We'll create multiple cross sections. In here it asks which road you are going to create sections and which from which chain to which chain uh, We'll say it should be automatic and the section view style will be road cross section which is built in hit enter and in here it shows, it shows that uh, all of the cross sections should be placed in uh, AutoCAD uh, you know, what you say the mm, template window DWT file or all of the uh, cross sections should be placed in a simple grid uh, in AutoCAD so later on you can create your own sheets I'll say it should be draft click next offset should be automatic next elevation should also be automatic next and all of these features will be shown as we have assigned and uh, clip grid the grid should be clipped with the finished road surface uh, uh, cross section next and uh, here just like in profiles we can change the bands we say it is uh, offsets only create section view when we click that it says that identify section view origin click here and it creates the cross sections here you can see how your road looks like This is how your road looks like at this station. If we go here and we say at 80 station, we have long uh, side slope on the left side and 
we have a cutting side slope on our right side. Similarly, you can see at the end of the chain edge, we have uh, all the cutting uh, side slope. Now, in this cross section, there are two sections are shown. One is original ground surface that you can see over here. If you right click and go to edit section style, display, you can change this to some other color like in my case I will change it to green apply ok and I will change the line type to dashed ok apply ok this is how it looks like in cross sections now we have created our cross sections 